Hi, my name is Bormüller and I'm with the Danfoss Drives Global Training Department. In this video, I will be going a bit deeper into the VLT Software Customizer, the features it offers and how it allows you to customize the commissioning experience of the VLT. Let's start out with what you need in order to use the VLT Software Customizer. First, you need to download and install the latest version of MCT10. You need at least version 4.0. If you already have an older version installed, please remove this one first. Then you need to have the advanced license of MCD10 and you need to purchase the separate license for the VLT software customizer. As you may have seen in the general introduction video for MCD10 4.0, the VLT software customizer is available offline in the project folder. You can either drag and drop a drive you are connected to or you can create a drive from the database. Just make sure to select a software version based on the newly upgraded control card. Now you can select the VLT software customizer and you see the three main features. You can create a custom splash screen for when the drive is powered on. You can choose new default values for the initial drive startup. And finally, the smart start editor, which allows you to create a completely custom startup wizard, allowing you to choose which parameters are most relevant for commissioning your specific application. Let's start with the splash screen. Here it says what the splash screen will be when you upload your VLT software customizer project to an actual drive. By default, it will preserve the original splash screen that the drive is delivered with from the factory. Click here to see your possibilities. You can create a new image using the built-in editor. You can select from a library of images you've used previously, or you can import an image from your computer. This last option removes the default splash screen, meaning the drive shows no splash screen when it is powered up. Let's import a picture. So this will probably be the most common use and it will also showcase the editor that we've made. So when you first import the image, you get the option of tweaking the contrast setting in the processed image. This lets you very quickly get a great result with minimal effort. If your image needs further detailing, you just use the pencil and eraser and make the necessary modifications to the image. Using these tools is also how you would create an image completely from scratch. Next, initial values. Here you can define new default values for virtually any parameter. Let's take a look. We'll make a new from blank. You see the editor where you can change the value or setting to best suit your application. All four setups are available and of course there's a filter field available to allow you to easily find the parameter you're looking for. You also have the option of applying the parameter values you already have in your offline project directly into this initial values file. I'll make a change to show you how it works. I'll change the default setting from English to German. You see the change appear on the right hand side in this list. This helps you to keep track of the changes you are making. So it's a very nice feature. To implement your changes, all that remains is to hit continue. Name the file and hit finish. Finally, let's take a look at the most advanced feature of the VLT software customizer, the Smart Start Editor. Smart Start allows you to create your own custom startup wizard and to truly customize the commissioning experience for the user. Like with the other features, you can create a new from blank or import an existing file. In this case, we'll go for a new from blank. The editor will launch. Since we started from scratch, we are presented with an empty canvas, so to speak. So let's get started and I'll take you through the individual steps and give you a few hints along the way. The first step is obviously to grab a starting point Simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and then let's go for the first parameter for which you want the drive to prompt the user for the value or selection for. Once I drop the parameter element onto the canvas, the Smart Start editor asks for the parameter selection. It's often a good idea to start with the display language. You can either type in the name in the filter field or you can browse through the menu structure if you're uncertain about the naming of a particular parameter. 
Notice that you get the option of choosing which selections should be available to the user. For this demonstration, let's go with all of these. Also, you can add a custom help text that will be available to the user by pressing the info button on the LCP. Like, please select the language for the display. Next, we want the wizard to prompt for the motor power. And remember, this is just an example, so you can choose whichever parameter or combination of parameters you wish. This time, let's browse for the parameter group, so one, motor data, motor power, and there we go. Now let's prompt for common motor data needed for the drive to operate the motor efficiently. Motor voltage, motor frequency, motor current, and finally motor data, motor nominal speed. Now for our example, let's assume we commonly use a particular 3 kilowatt motor. So in case the drive will be commissioned with this motor, we will have the smart start wizard automatically input the relevant motor data and not prompt the user for all of these. To do this, Simply select a branch point and let's start connecting the elements. Grab the link tool from the elements toolbox and start connecting them. You can also just hover over an element and use the shortcut to link them together. Regardless of whether the user goes for our common 3 kilowatt motor or not, we always want to prompt to run an AMA, the automatic motor adaptation. This allows the VLT to have optimal control of the motor and thereby optimal efficiency of exactly the motor we have connected. To do this, you'll grab a junction element and link it up just like this. Add the AMA step. And finally, the exit point to end the wizard. So by now, our wizard does look a bit cluttered, but don't worry. With a click of a button, the editor will align everything nicely. There. Before we are done, we still have to set up the conditions for when the wizard should take the left, the full path, and when it should take the right path, the simple path. Double click the to-do label and find the parameter for motor power which the user will just have input. We'll pick the smaller or bigger than operator, meaning that anything that is smaller or bigger than three kilowatts will take this path. Now let's do the same for the right path. Only here we will select equal to three. Here in the input field below, we get to decide any action the wizard should take automatically. And as I mentioned in our example, we use a three kilowatt motor. It's always the same one. So we know the motor data up front. So you input all the values you need, the vo motor voltage, motor frequency, motor current, and the motor nominal speed. You can also add a note inside your Smart Start program to clarify what your individual steps are responsible for. This is considered good programming practice. Now all that remains is to hit continue, name the program, and click finish. Now that we are done customizing the VLT, I can show you another very nice feature that we've included in the VLT software customizer. We have the option of testing our customization without ever needing access to an actual VLT. By clicking here, you can launch the editor. There we go. You see our splash screen. Next, the Smart Start Wizard kicks in. And if you remember, we changed the initial value of the display language to German. But just as programmed, the display is prompting us for the language. 
So let's go back to English. Next is the motor power. Now in order to showcase the wizard, let's input 3 kilowatts so that our standard 3 kilowatt motor that I talked to you about with the wizard already has all the motor data. So it should skip the steps, automatically input the values. And of course it does and it directly prompts us for the AMA, which we're certainly going to perform. Hit hand on, AMA complete and setup has finished. While the VLT software customizer is the biggest addition to MCD10 and 4.0, remember there are many other new features and updates, so do check out the general introduction video to MCD10 4.0 as well. I hope this video gave you an impression of just how strong a tool the VLT software customizer is and how it can help shape the commissioning experience to whatever needs you and your application might have. For details on how to purchase the license for the VLT software customizer, please see the description below. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.